What's up everyone? I managed to get another circulated box of pennies. And I checked for enders and I do have a 1942 wheat ender. But that was the only thing I saw on the ends. So, I'm going to get to looking through these. And when I get to this roll in the box, I'll open it on camera. So, I'm going to get started. Alright, very first roll that I opened. And it looks like I actually have my first wheat. And looks like it's going to be a beat up 1958. Alright, fifth roll in, and it looks like I have my second wheat. And it's a 1952 D. Alright, I was working on roll number six, and looks like I have my third wheat for the box already. And it is a 1942 Philadelphia. Roll number eight, and it looks like I have my fourth wheat for the box. And it is a 1955 Philadelphia. But sadly, it does not look like the famous double die obverse. And I don't think I saw anything else. Oh wait, there is another wheat. 1947D. So that brings me up to 5. Just in the first 8 rolls, which is really good. So, I'm going to keep searching. Alright, I am on roll number 10, which is this 1942 Ender. So, I'm going to open it on camera. So here's the ender, 1942, Oops. and there's the reverse. And let's see if there is anything else in here. Well, I don't see anything else, so I'll keep going. Alright, roll number 14, and I've actually got another wheat. And it is a 1949 Philadelphia. Alright, roll number 16. And it looks like I've got my 8th wheat for the box. And it is a 1944S. Alright, roll number 18. And it looks like I've got my ninth wheat for the box. And it is a 1952S. Alright, roll number 21. And it looks like I've got my 10th wheat for the box right here. And it is a 1953D. Pretty nice shape. And then I haven't checked the rest of the roll, so I'm going to look real quick. And here's another wheat, 1949S. 
So that would be number 11 for the box. All right, I was searching roll number 25. I didn't see anything right off and then I started moving some coins. At first I thought that was gonna be a rotting away zinc penny, but it turns out to be a really rough shaped wheat set. And it looks like 1941 maybe? I know for sure it's 1940-something. Alright, roll number 29. And I've got one reverse wheat. And I also had a 1937 sticking out back here. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, this one would be wheat number 13. And then wheat number 14 is right here. I haven't looked at the date yet. And it's a 1948. Alright, roll number 30. And I've got at least two wheats in here. Both of them are showing the reverse. So here's the first one. It's a little worn down. But it's just a 1944. So that's week number 15. And then the other wheat reverse is showing back here. And it is a 1945. Alright, roll number 38 for the box. And it looks like I have my 17th wheat right here. And it is a 1953 Philadelphia. Alright, roll number 39. And it looks like I've got my 18th wheat for the box. And it is a 1958D. Alright, roll number 42. And it looks like I've got my 19th wheat for the box. And it's a 1945 Philadelphia. Alright, roll number 43, and I think I see two wheats. The first one I see is a 1941, and this will be my 20th wheat for the box. And then this one, which is a little more worn down. And it's just a 1948D. It looked kind of worn to me. But this is my 21st week for the box. Alright, roll number 44. And it looks like I've got another week. And to me, this one looks worn down too. Oh wait, there's actually a week right here too. And I didn't even notice it when I was turning the camera on. So let's look at that, 1948, so that makes week number 22, and now back to the one that I actually saw, let's see if it's actually older, and it's actually a 1929, and it is week number 23 for the box. Alright, roll number 45, and it looks like I've got my 24th wheat for the box, right here. And it's a 1958D. Alright, roll number 47, 
And I think I've got my 25th week for the box. And it's a 1958. Alright, so I finished up that entire box. And I ended up with 25 wheats. I got a 1929. A 1937, two 1941s, two 1942s, a 1944, a 1944S, two 1945s, a 1947D, two 1948s, a 1948D, a 1949, a 1949S, two 1952Ds, a 1953, a 1953D, a 1955, two 1958s, two 1958Ds, and a 1964 Canadian. So to me that's a pretty good box. I usually only get about 10 to 12 wheats in a box. So I'm really happy with that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and leave a comment. And thanks for watching.